bow with me and give thanks to God for what he has provided us with here and just ask him to bless and take care of this building and the students that enter it in the future. Most gracious Heavenly Father, 
Your word tells us that you are the provider of all things that is good. Job said, your wonders cannot be numbered. And Lord, as I gaze upon this campus and the facility here, the physical plant, Lord, it is obvious that you have given something very, very good. Now, Lord, as we come this way, we ask your blessings upon it. But not only on the physical building and the campus itself, but we ask blessings upon all those who enter these doors. Lord, I pray that you would use the staff to mold, to guide, and to produce citizens of this great country that we live in. Lord, I thank you for those that have planned and have had the vision to design this facility. I thank you for the leadership of the Board of Education and for Dr. Harper. I thank you for the principal, Mr. Michael Nelson, and Lord, I am so proud of the fine young man that he's become and the leader that he is. Now, Lord, as we go forward, I ask that you be an active part in the day-to-day -day activities of this building. Your word also tells us that if we build a building and you're not involved, we build it in vain. So, Lord, we invite you. You just have your will and your way in this building. And many, many years from now, as those that even haven't been born, one day when they have gone through this facility and we look back, we will say, God, you really were good to us. Thank you, Lord, for the new Cass High School. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Coach Harris. At this time, I'd like to introduce Dr. John Harper and ask him to come to the podium. Uh, I want to give a special thank you to Dr. Harper and the entire school board for making this uh, facility available to us and making this dream come soon. So at this time, please welcome Dr. John Harper, Superintendent. Dr. Mr. Nelson, Mr. Harris, thank you very much. At this time, we're going to make some uh, announcements as far as recognitions and introductions. And the first person I'd like to introduce, who will introduce our current board, is our current chairman, Mr. Mark Lamar Grizzle. It's been exciting to serve with you. Please come and introduce our board. here and I see two board members that also help make this I'd like to recognize is Tammy Livingood and Greg Bowie. They were part of this decision making. And I would like to thank the taxpayers and the voters of this of this community and this county for this school. I was walking through the hallway a while ago and I thought, gee, this hallway's larger than the school I graduated from. <laughs> And it's not twice as large as <coughs> Tommy graduated from. <laughs> yeah. But without further ado, I'd like to introduce the uh, board members. Uh, Mr. Roger Meyer, Vice Chair. <laughs> Ms. Wanda Cable Gray. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Grizzle. Two and a half years ago, the board members, Greg Bowen, Tammy Livingood, Lamar Grizzle, made some decisions, Matt Schultz, to build a new school. Thank you all for being here this evening. It's an absolutely lovely facility. We spent a lot of time and energy with the construction companies that are here. Mr. Boyd and Ms. Living Good, if you understand, please would like to recognize you. We have three of our new board members here with us this evening as well to celebrate this opening. I'd like to recognize them this time, Ms. Angie Cornett. Mr. John Howard. Nelson. 
thank all of y'all for being here this evening. It's, it's a very special night. Thank you. Also with us this, night, this evening is Representative Paul Battles. <laughs> Senator Barry Loudmill. Appreciate your attendance this evening. Thank you. The construction could not have happened without a marvelous company, and that company is represented on stage tonight, that is Turner. We've gone through a lot of anguish and heartache. As you know, we should have been here earlier. Um, the ground didn't cooperate with us, but uh, we assure you the building is absolutely perfectly safe, and we're looking to be in this building for many, many years. But uh, with us tonight, representing Turner, is Mr. Russ Ardillo. Mr. Keith Weary. Thank you all very much for all your work on the site. Absolutely beautiful. The architectural firm is in the direction that we were giving was go out and look at some schools, and we did uh, in the community, and uh, CGLS was selected. We have their architects here this evening, Mr. Bob Sissenbach. Miss Mary Reeves. Thank you for your attendance tonight. Absolutely beautiful facility. The person that has um, worked the hardest on this building, I want to recognize at this time, that's Mr. Rick Little, Director of Construction of the Forest County School System, Mr. Little. We have some very special guests here this evening as well, Mr. Chris Allen, Mayor, City of White. Please stand. Ms. Jane Richards, City Manager. Please stand. Mr. Dennis Huskins, City Council Member. Mr. David Richards, Council Member. Ms. Lavonda Roberts, Council Member. Another special guest is someone that works uh, in our school system quite often, and that's Sheriff Millsap. Thank you for being here this evening, sir. Chief Millsap, thank you as well for being here. Let me extend another welcome to you to New Cass High School. It's a marvelous, marvelous campus. I've seen a lot of schools through the years, and I must tell you, this is the finest school system that I've seen. Thanks to the vision of this school board and the leadership that was shown, and also the community, thank you so much for your financial support in helping us build this kind of facility. We appreciate you, and I applaud you, and thank you board members for your leadership making this happen for us. The direction that we were given was to build a school for 2,000 students. Build a school with an auditorium of 1,000 seats and build a stadium with 6,000 seats in it. The board did recognize at that time that the high school league had changed their rules and in order for a school of this size to have a state playoff, they'd have 6,000 seats in the stadium. Board members, we've done that. You're here this evening. We applaud you for that. A little bit about your building. Community again, thank you for your support. It is 350,000 square feet. All under one roof except for a little tech building outside. It has 105 instructional classrooms in this building. 1,200 parking spaces. It is the most modern and up-to-date technology that can be afforded in schools today. We have 98 smart boards in our classroom. And for those of you who don't teach class regularly, those are fancy things that without you don't put chalk on them anymore, folks. When I taught mathematics in the class with no air conditioning and we used chalk, it used to melt my hand. 
We have a very, very modern security system in this building to keep our children secure and to make sure that we monitor who's coming and who's going. We have motion sensor detectors in our classrooms that when you walk into the building, in the classroom, the lights come on. When you leave, there's a delay time that the lights go off. We have eight computer labs in this building. And we have all athletic fields on campus. The girls will not have to go off campus to play softball. We have career tech classrooms in this building. We have a metals classroom, a horticulture classroom, a construction classroom, cosmetology, culinary arts, health occupations, business lab, and marketing. Facility of this quality. You're going to get to tour in a few minutes after the program. Again, let me say thank you for all of your support with your SPLOS dollars. We've tried to use them very wisely. We've put additions on Woodland High School and Adairsville High School. We've built a Pylog Elementary School. We've purchased some new buses and we've upgraded our technology in our current school buildings. With your community support, we will build a Cloverleaf Elementary School, an Emerson Elementary School, and an Adairsville Middle School. I've worked in several communities over the years. This community, let me share with you, is extremely wealthy in human capital. It shows in your commitment to support us day in and out, day out inside of our classrooms. And I couldn't end the program without thanking all the hardworking teachers that we have in our classrooms. I'm so proud of all they do. I'm in and out of the classrooms quite frequently, as well as the building level leadership that we have. Our principals work extremely hard to provide for each and every one of our citizens and to make sure that our children get a high quality education. We're working hard with that. Past board members, the current board members, and the future board members will continue to ensure that you, this community, can continue to enjoy state-of-the-art facilities and a quality education from the people that support you inside of our buildings. And we thank you for that. Mr. Nelson. As I've said to you many times, it's certainly an honor to work with a fine man like you. I know you're a product of this community, and I'm very proud of all the times that we've worked together, that we've sweated over this building, and with the issues and concerns that we've had. But they've all been for the children. That's your heart, and that's my heart. And I'm certainly pleased and blessed to work with you. Mr. Nelson, here's the key to your building. you and your support and the hard work and dedication to our students. Uh, none of this would be possible. And to our students that are here, you are truly the best students in this district and in this county as far as I'm concerned. I treasure you and I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, at this time, we want to make sure everybody has an opportunity to see this fine facility. CGLS, Turner Construction, thank you for all you've done. Mr. Little, been many of conversation, many of heartache, I understand. Uh, but it's a great facility, thanks to you for your hard work. And thank you to the taxpayers and community, uh, local school council members, my local school council members, thank you uh, for your hard work and your dedication and commitment to Cass High School. And thank you to the community for your support for Cass High School. Thank you again. Please feel free to walk around the building and make yourselves at home, because this is our home. So uh, get to know it very well. Thank you again for coming to see us. Also, any past principals, I know Dr. Kaiser, Mr. Cochran, uh, and Mr. Kendrick is here. Any past principals, please make your way up to the stage this time. Please.
Thank you. 